Hi, the Mia crew. Beth here with your yoga for the day. I hope you are doing amazing. Happy July. And as always, just a quick reminder, if you're new to exercise, get the A-OK -okay from your doctor before you begin. All right, well, let's go ahead and begin. We're going to move our way into our mat. Now you can take that easy seat position, the bottom right straight down, or that thunderbolt position where we take our knees kind of close together, take our heels a little bit together, and we set our bottom right down on top of those heels. Feel free to wiggle around in this pose or any pose for that matter. Inhale, exhale. If you'd like to close your eyes for a minute, go right ahead. Inhale with a little shoulder lift. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. A couple more. Feel free to close those eyes as you're doing that. And just connect that body and the breath. Spray it together. How about one more? Hopefully it feels really good. And release. Let's take that chin to the chest. Eyes can still be closed if it's comfortable for you. If not, that's okay. One ear to the side of the body or the shoulder. Make sure you bring that shoulder down. And chin to chest. Other ear to other shoulder. Releasing that shoulder down. And chin to chest. Come center, lift that chin up, open your eyes if you would like. Inhale, lift the arms high. Let those fingers find their way to each other. Exhale, bring it on down. Inhale, lift and let's reach for the sky. Fingers extend, shoulders pull down away from the ears, however, and feel that stretch through the spine. Feel it lengthen through the back. Exhale those arms down. Inhale, lift. And arms come down. Exhale. And if at any time I am moving too fast, you just move at your own pace. And if at any time you need a break, go right into this thunderbolt pose or child pose. But just come right back to that breath for a second. And come back when you're ready. Inhale, lift the hands. And exhale, bring them down. From here, let's take our hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers if you can. If not, just reach the back. Reach towards the back of the room. We drop the shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, bring that body forward. Now, if the fingers kind of pull apart, that is okay. No wrong thing there. Think about keeping that back nice and long. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come forward. And how about one more? Inhale, lift. And exhale, come forward. Nice. Inhale, lift. Release those fingers. Exhale. Inhale, lift the hands high. And bring those hands right to the mat. From here, let's go to our tabletop position. We're going to take those hips directly, or those knees directly under the hips, shoulders directly under the hands. Now I have my blocks out here and water. I hope you have a whole of yours as well. If not, no worries. We'll have options for blocks. Oh, we don't need them as well. If you don't have any, it is not a worry. If your wrists are sore in this position, definitely fist it feel better and adjust that body weight. Sometimes we're too far forward, too far back. It should be nice and even. Go ahead and go into those cat and cows, dropping the belly, opening the chest. And exhale, we lift the belly to the ceiling. Dropping the belly with a good inhale, open the chest. And exhale, lift. How about two more? Or if you're going faster, if your breath is faster, you'll get a few more in. Just breathe. And coming right back to that tabletop position. Let's take one foot in between the hands. And then we're just going to kind of gently lean forward, push that, that back leg back a little bit. Feel that nice 
stretch through the hip flexor. See if you can lengthen through the spine. And then from here, drive the heel into the mat, that front heel, and push the body back. Now you can paint your mat with your fingers. You can come all the way back. You don't have to, though. You can point the toe if it feels good for you. Again, this is just progress, not perfection. You are doing it perfectly, 100% correct. All right, let's bring it back up, painting those fingers, taking those fingers on the outside of the hands, taking that foot back to the other foot, wiggle around in that tabletop position. We're gonna tuck the toes and lift up to downward dog. Go ahead and walk that dog out. And then hang up and down more dog a little bit. When you're ready, take those knees right back down to the mat. And we take the other foot right in between the fingers or the thumbs. We're going to drive our body forward. Maybe we need to push that leg back a little bit. It depends on how long you know, your torso is versus your legs. And then we're going to push it back. We can paint the mat with our fingers, or if you want to walk it back slightly, maybe you just get to here and that's okay. Lengthen through the spine. Maybe you sit all the way down. That's okay too. Just allow you to feel a nice stretch right in that hamstring. As you lengthen the spine, feel really good in the spine. And breathe. Walk with your hands or paint those fingers to roll more eyes and bringing those thumbs to frame that foot. Taking that foot back and walk back to that tabletop position, tucking the toes, bringing the hips up to downward dog. And see if you can get those heels down a little bit more. If not, no worries. And think about your armpits. Are they completely straight? If they are, give yourself a little bit of room in those armpits. You don't want to look completely straight out. Biceps gently cover ears. Definitely wiggle around in this pose. You're going to feel the hamstrings all the way back to the legs. Feel the lower back, the mid back. And again, if there's a wrist bucking, you can fist it out, but also adjust your body weight. Maybe you're a little too far forward, or maybe your wrists are just tired, and that's okay too. Now from here, let's go ahead and put a three-legged dog, pick up like any leg, and then lift it up to the ceiling. You have an option of a hip opener if that does not work for you, keep that three-legged dog. So here's your option. We're here. Hang up right there for three, two, one, come back to downward dog. Around ever so slightly. Let's take that three legged dog on the other side. Hip opener option. Whatever feels good for you. One more breath here. Bringing those feet back to that downward dog. Nice. From here, the knees gently bend down towards the mat, but they're not going to touch the mat completely. We're going to hover ever so slightly. Knees can come down, tops of the feet go to the mat. We're going to take those elbows to the mat. And then we're going to go ahead and take one foot back. And our toes are going to support us. Take the other foot back. And hang out right here. For four, three, two. And go ahead and bring that knee right back in. But go ahead and keep those elbows down. The other knee comes right back in. And then we're going to set that bottom right down on top of the heels. Extend the front of the body. That is child's pose. If I need to come here during our practice today, just go for it. And breathe. Great. So one more time, let's take those elbows right under the armpits. Flatten the hands so we can even pressure on the hands. Both elbows in the armpits. We bring the butt up. One foot goes back. Stretching those toes. The other foot goes back. Now if your knees need to come down, that's fine. Hold. 
four, three, two, one. Bring those knees back in. Bring that butt down, a child's pose. Extending those arms out nice and wide. Arms or fingers come over the armpits. Come back to tabletop. Nice wiggle around in that tabletop position. Let's lift a leg up. Any big move you like. Let's take that opposite arm out wide and then bring it to the back. Grab the big toe if you can. If not, just reach back there. Kind of kick the foot into the hand. Feel that beautiful stretch in that quad and in the shoulder. Gently release, but don't drop. Take the hand out long. Take the foot out long. Toes can reach towards the floor. And come on back, knee by knee. Hands by hand, or right in that tabletop position. Let's lift the other foot. Extend the other arm. And reach on back. Yeah, oh, where'd you go? There it is. <laughs> Kick it in. You know what? If this doesn't work for you, just reaching. That's awesome. You can feel that burn just by reaching. Just make it active. Forward, opening the leg, pointing those toes down to the earth. Think about those hips are parallel to the ground and coming back to tabletop. Beautiful. Let's stack the toes up to downward dog we go. Wiggle it out if you need. Let's take those knees towards the chest. And we're going to hop or walk. I'm going to choose the walk option. You can definitely hop <laughs> to bring those toes right up towards the front of the mat. Or with your hands, basically the palms of your hands. From here, knees are bent, I hope, because I want that back nice and flat. If not, I had a curve there. Straighten her out. Inhale, lift. All the way up. Exhale, halfway lift. So we're going to bring our hands right above our knees. We push those shoulders down, bringing the belly in. And we have a nice flat back. Now, option here is to bring those hands further down. Anyone that works for you, how do you like your halfway lift? Take it right where you like it. Inhale, lift. Forward, fold. That back is nice and straight, elongate. Knees can come in gently. Just to help support the back, bring the belly in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway lift. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward, fold. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, lift. And forward fold. Think about this knees, think about the back. Nice and straight here. All right, from here, place those hands on the mat or on the block. Okay, up to you. If you need blocks, that's totally cool. You need to bend those knees a lot so you can reach the mat or reach the blocks. That's cool. That is good, actually. Go where you can go, where you need to go, and on the mat. Let's take it right back to plank. Knees can be down, so no worries there. We're just gonna sit back. Hang out in that plank position. Knees down or knees up, you choose. Now breathe. Yes, you can. Now from this position, let's take those knees as close as we can in between the thumbs. One, two. Now we're back to that thunderbolt position where we put our bottom down. We're gonna inhale, lift. We're gonna exhale. And we're gonna use the power of our beautiful legs to come up tall. Nice, right? Squeeze the butt for me. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, bring it down. 
are you squeezing the butt? Can you squeeze the butt a little bit? So it's going to help support that lower back. I don't want you to have a sore lower back for any reason. From here, let's take those hands behind the back. Now, option interlace the fingers, option just reach. Brace your stomach, squeeze your butt, slowly lean back. Coming center, relaxing the hands, inhale, lift. Exhale, reach behind, and slowly lean back. We're working on camel. If you know camel, you can fully do camel. Go right ahead. <laughs> Again, progress, not perfection. Inhale, lift. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hands behind. Lean it back. Bring the belly in. And look up to the sky ever so slightly. And meet those legs and the tummy. Let's come center. Inhale, lift. Hands go right by those knees. We're going to tuck those toes and come up to forward fold. What's your forward fold? Remember the rules in forward fold. Back is flat. So bend the knees as much as you need to. So not here. Flat, flat back, okay? You know why? Because you are important. Your body is amazing. We're going to honor that. All right. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands down. And let's go to that single leg stance. So go ahead and take any leg. Bring it up. Now, if this doesn't work for you, you can just tow. And that is awesome. If you need a chair, if you need a wall, go for it. Cool. Bring it. It is all about you and your body. Single leg. Nice. Ground single leg. Let's go ahead and do that tree pose. Your tree can be toe on the ground, heel right next to the other heel. Your tree can be a nice flat foot below the knee. Your tree can be a nice flat foot on your inner thigh wherever you can go is great from here wherever you're at inhale lift the hands fingers gently face each other and breathe with your next exhale let's let those arms fall down Come to prayer if you'd like. And wherever you're at, take that foot that's in the tree and push it back. You can lean your body ever so slightly forward. I have a, I have a wall space issue, so I'm going to move forward. And think about flattening the back as much as you can. You can take the hands out. Again, a wall, a chair, nothing wrong with that. Or maybe your toe is down. That is okay too. Breathe. From here, challenge yourself to come to that single leg. Nice. Gently release. Shake it out. Maybe this ankle is like, woo. <laughs> That's okay. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Single leg stance on the other side. You can be in prayer, you can give your leg a hug. That toe can be down, you can be hanging onto a chair. Gently move into that tree pose, your tree on this side. Each side might be different, that's good. It's normal. Wherever you've got your tree. Inhale, lift the hands. Let those fingers face each other. Shoulders drop. Honor your tree. Take the 
and as hands down, maybe come to prayer. Let's take that tree leg and kick it behind and bring the front body gently down. Remember, if it doesn't work, that toe can be down. You can be hanging onto a chair a lot. You can take those hands behind and go into full flight if it works for you. And just breathe. Challenging yourself to come back to single leg. Hands can come wherever you'd like. Gently release. Wiggle out that other ankle that's kind of yelling at you. Inhale, lift when you're ready. Exhale, forward fold. And those knees are bent and that back is nice and flat. Inhale, lift. Forward fold. Awesome. I'm just going to turn so you can see. Stay right there wherever you're at. I'm going to bring those knees in just a little. We're going to bring the heels up. Okay, now if this doesn't work, maybe one heel goes up, not both heels. That's okay too. Lengthen through the spine. Bring one or two heels down, whichever you've got up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Knees gently come in. Now if you lifted one heel, lift the other. If you lifted both heels, do it again. Both, you can, you can. Nice. Heels come down. Inhale, lift. Bring it to heart center. With those fingers, set the bottom down into chair. Now, if you have a mirror, I really want to encourage you to look in a mirror. Your knees are falling in. Get them out a little bit, okay? Make sure your butt is back and you've got your heels in line with your knee. Not here, but here, okay? Protect those beautiful knees. Inhale, lift all the way. Exhale, forward fold. Taking it back to chair. Heart center, pushing the butt back, the chest is high. Now we're just going to go right to that forward fold with an exhale. Nice. From here, we're going to walk the hands out, walk the feet back to our downward dog. Nice. Move around if you'd like. Let's take an opposite hand and reach it towards the opposite foot. Now if you can grab on, great. If you can reach Awesome. There's no wrong way. Just breathe through. Knees can be slightly bent. Back is flat. Feel that beautiful stretch in the back of the legs. Gently release. Take that other hand. Reaching for the opposite. Maybe it grabs on, maybe it doesn't. back to that full downward dog. We're going to take those knees towards the mat, but don't let them sit down on the mat yet. Hang out here. Breathe. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Bring the belly in. Gently. Go ahead and bring those knees down. Top of the feet. Go into the mat. We are back to our tabletop position. Awesome. Let's bring that butt right back down to the heels. Let's inhale, rise. Let's exhale and bring it all the way down. We've got our child's pose going on. From here, brace the belly. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bring it down. Just hang out for a minute. Maybe let the 
fingers curl a little long. Really getting into that upper back as we set that bottom down. Just stretch the lower back. Hands gently make their way under the armpits. We're going to lift up to tabletop. Let's go ahead and set that bottom on the ground. And we'll just flip it on over. From here, go ahead and grab one knee. Extend the other leg. Lengthen the spine. And give that knee a beautiful hug. You can wiggle, of course. I like to wiggle. <laughs> you have not noticed. I hope you like to wiggle too. If not, that's totally great. We're going to take that foot we kind of have up. And you can grab the toe or wherever you would like. Lengthen through the spine. And however long you can make it, we're just going to lengthen and stretch out that foot. Okay? Now you can move that hand right down to the ankle as well, above the ankle. Just think about dropping the shoulders and lengthening the spine. Bringing the knee in, giving it one more hug. We're going to lengthen it right down with the other foot. Lengthen through the spine, bring that shoulder down. And take that other knee, give her a hug. Now this is perfect for you, stay here. If you want, grab that toe, the big toe, you can. Extend if you're like, mm-mm, that doesn't work. Maybe below the ankle. Extend. Ooh, and one side might be a little tighter than the other. Uh, this side may be a little tighter. And move the ankle and the way you like, just hang on through that spine. Bringing that knee in. that foot right down so it can go with its friend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, seated fold. Just go as long as you can. If you feel like you're arching, mm -mm, just bring it long. Only go as far as you can be long. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring those hands down. And I hope, I really hope you had some fun today. Inhale it one last time. Take a fist into the palm of your hand, bring it right to heart center. You got a light in me. I truly honor that light in you. I am privileged and grateful to be here for you. Anything you want to work on, email us, fitness at Livia.com. Namaste.